Hi, my name is Keith Cooper of North Flight Images. Um, this video is about aspects of colour management, making your own profiles, printer profiles and the likes and that. And also an important uh, thing to note if you use x rite kit for doing it, about some changes in what they're supporting, what they're offering, various things like that. A um, bit of a general catch up on the state of play of colour management kit if you want to do your own profiles. Now, Several people, you'll probably know that I make printer profiles and I make them with targets like this and I run them through these targets through this device. Um, this is an i1 ISIS, um, the big version of it, and it reads this and I use software, i1 Profiler, to make profiles. Yeah, fairly straightforward, depending on how complex it is, there's all various things and things you can do. but. X-Rite have stopped, or are stopping, I should say, support for the i1 Pro 2 device. Now, it's a handheld device, or you can use it in, um, I've got it in the i1 IO, which is a, a sort of robot arm system which uses it. I haven't got that one here at the moment. That's in storage still. Uh, it takes up a lot of space. Really nifty device. But it's key to notice that if you are using any of the older X-Rite kit, for making your own profiles, so that's um, i1 Pro 2, that as of the current update of i1 Profiler, after that, there will be no support for, for the i1 Pro 2 device. Now, that does not mean, as some people have asked me, that suddenly the i1 Pro 2 devices are gonna stop working. It means that you won't be able to update the software anymore. Now. The software should work on systems for a good few years to come, but it does mean that there's a cutoff point. Similarly, there was a cutoff point for the older i1 Pro devices a few years ago, and you, had, you were limited to the software up to a certain version which supported that device. Um, I'm not sure how long my ISIS here will be supported, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, this is a particularly nice device. It was the ISIS 2 is the current version of it, although even that is now listed as no longer in production. So we have to wonder what is coming, what is available in that area. But if you're using this software, take note of it. Um, I also mentioned this just in case you think, well, I might fancy a go at uh, doing some profiles. I'll have a look on eBay or other somewhere else and get one of these bits of kit secondhand and have a go at making profiles and stuff. Now that's great, um, but you will need older versions of software to drive that. And don't forget that if you buy a profiling device, you need a license of some form to run it. Now, the licenses are stored inside the actual measurement devices for the individual spectrophotometers. For this device, I've got a good old fashioned USB dongle, which activates the software and everything. So always remember that if you're buying secondhand profiling kit, that you get it licensed because otherwise there's not a lot you can do. Well, I say not a lot you can do. An option would be to consider Argyle CMS. Now that is uh, free software. And you may say, oh, that's interesting. Have I, have I got a review of it? No. Every time I think of doing a review of Argyle CMS, I'm impressed by how much it does but my old career as a usability and human factors researcher comes out and it is command line driven. It is an absolute pain to use. Now, it has, much like Linux and other things like that, it has its fan club and it is immensely powerful. If using command line software doesn't put you off, then it is great, it is free, it supports all sorts of devices. So you'll be able to use this. You'll even be able to use this, which is, this is one of the original color monkeys. Uh, here's the current version, the Color Checker Studio. Uh, essentially the same device inside, but you, know, you can use all of these of Argyle CMS. I'll put some links in the notes if you're interested in uh, looking at it. But if you want a solution like this, which is yeah, much easier to use and very powerful in itself, 
then make sure that if you're using older kit, you update to the latest update. Now, the reason I say that is that X-Rite used to have a superb library of all their old software, Gretag Macbeth software, other stuff, the Monaco stuff, all the old stuff. They used to have a massive great library. You could just go in and pick out the version you like. Sometime in the last year or so, or just over that, somebody decided that why are we giving away all this stuff when it's encouraging people not to buy new kit? And the whole lot just vanished. Now, that is terrible. Um, to my mind, it's just mean spirited, but it does mean that you have to be doubly careful with software. Now, I've got a Mac installer for the version of i1 profiler that works with the original i1. Now, you'll still need it licensing and things like that, but I've got a copy and, and quite a few people have asked me for that. I've got no Windows versions at all. People have Scott copies of it, so you will be able to find it. But you know, just to be careful, um, I know quite a few people who've bought spec photometers thinking, yes, I can do profiling. Be particularly wary of the ones with the EFI branding on them because often they are not licensed in any way to use any of this software. Great if you're using something like Argyle CMS, which as I say, is very good, but I just don't like command line software. Um, I used to be, a, many, many years ago, I used to look after lots of Unix workstations. I've had my fill of Unix and the like, of all the command line stuff. I could probably still do it if I really needed to, but I don't want to, particularly since I've got stuff like this that works perfectly well. But of course, this, this stuff, you end up, you, know, you have to pay for it. So there you go. But I did say that I was going to mention what color current options if you want to have a go at profiling. Now, uh, spider print from Data Color is still around. It's a bit basic, but better than nothing. People ask me about using scanners for making profiles. Um, there's a product recently been promoted more that does this. Um, the problem with using scanners to make profiles is that you don't know the characteristics of the scanner. The scanner doesn't generate the proper information that's needed to make good profiles. What it means is that you can get profiles from it. So it's really a case of when it works, it works. And when it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So it's relatively cheap, so worth a go if you really, really want to but I cannot recommend scanner-based profile building, uh, despite what the blurb and the advertising might say for it. The fundamental limitation is that you're using a scanner to acquire the information, not something like this or something like this. Um, this, as I say, the original Color Monkey, you may find these uh, still available. If you want to use this with the current software, there is a paid update to use the current version uh, from Calibrite. This is the Color Checker Studio. This works with it, Neil. There's also the i1 Studio as well, which I'm sure I've got one of those in a box somewhere as well. But um, these are the basic devices. If you want to make profiles relatively cheaply, probably the best option, if you're not going to go the Argyle CMS route, is Color Checker Studio, something like that. The profiles you make from this tend to be good. They're not going to be up to the standards I can get from this. And hence all the profiles may, I've made for the ET8550, which I make available. Um, they're made using kit like this, not kit like this. And it is a difference between them. So just to recap that. If you use X-Rite stuff, make sure you've got backups of the software to install if you use older kit because it's not going to be supported. And X-Rite might just vanish at any point the uh, software for you to be able to download. So just be careful on that. But if you want to do your own profiling, currently the best option that's not ludicrously expensive would be Color Checker Studio from Calibrite. You can use older versions of it, but there is a paid update. It's not a lot, but there is a paid update to use the older kit on here. Incidentally, the Color Monkey software, if you have the original Color Monkey software, it has features which have still not made it through to the new system here, um, such as spot measurement and a few other things like that. I keep asking them when they ask me to test stuff to add it, and I'm sure it's on the to-do list somewhere, but not at the moment. So there you have it. Quick overview of um, current state of color management stuff. If you've got any questions, please do ask, because there's probably more that I forgot to add to this list and various 
things about what's up, what's best. And um, I hope that was of some help. And uh, thanks for watching. As I say, any questions, let me know. Bye.